Oh my god, kids, I'm so excited. Because it's finally here. As many of you know, Impact Tech was doing a, a sale where they were selling these for half off. 60 bucks shipped, you can get one of their stunt levers. The only catch was, you don't get to pick the colors. And I was so excited, I posted this on Instagram. And shortly after I posted that on Instagram, I got this in my direct messages. I'm so excited. I really hope it's purple. And I hope it's a two finger clutch. But I'll be happy either way. I got the two finger clutch just like I wanted. Dang, I got lucky, man. This is a beautiful piece. I gotta say, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Gonna take a closer look at this. See what's going on inside. I'll show you why everybody's going crazy for these things. Um, all this hardware is stainless. And uh, if you notice the machining here, um, the nut actually fits in there and it's captive so you don't have to have a wrench on the back and while you're screwing on the other side. Everything has anti-seize on it already, so if you're super stupid, you're not gonna screw up your hardware. So now I'm gonna take off the pivot. And here comes brass washers in there. Lots of grease. This is the needle bearing. And that's where all the magic happens. That's why these are so smooth, and that's why they run so well. The grease has a function in these Bushings have a function. Very important. If you're gonna take it apart, I would highly suggest you not take it apart ever. All that is necessary. Let's put this back together and then we'll get it on the bike. See how it looks. I took out the uh, cable adjuster and this is a titanium piece. Um, I'm not really sure why they made it out of titanium, um, but it's probably because it's a long wearing. It's gonna last a good while. A couple things I noticed on there. I wanna see if I can right in here. There's some like where it didn't machine out properly or something. You can barely see it, you can barely tell. And it's really not a big deal, but it's there nonetheless. Getting the clutch safety switch off is just as easy as uh, pushing this clip in here. the next part of the story is what to do with the uh, clutch switch. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. It's actually pretty easy. I've already taken the front uh, headlight surround or number plate or bezel or cowl or whatever you want to call it. I've already taken that off and we got this mess of wires here that hides in this pouch. The open of the pouch, this is the, uh, the plug for the switch here. What I've done is I've taken one of these little female disconnects here and stuck a flathead screwdriver in it to spread them apart. And if you spread them out wide enough, like that, it'll go in there. And stay in there. Real snug. You can, if you look real close, you can see the pins are all the way in there. And it's tight. It's in there. It's not going anywhere. Let's see if I even get it tuned right. Wow, it's really sensitive. Oh my god, it's gonna, definitely going to take some getting used to it. It's totally weird. Okay, I have it set way crazy. Definitely needs to be tighter. I feel like I need to adjust it down here. I'm just going to come over here real quick. Yeah, I'm 100% slipping the clutch right now. So instead, I'm gonna adjust it here. So there's a, there's the trade-off. The pull is much longer, but it's much easier. My clutch does not disengage until way back here. 
but it's definitely a, it's definitely a different feel. It's real neat. I like it. The clutch itself feels fantastic. I really like it. So that's all she wrote. I really like it, fam. I really like it a lot. I mean, it's just it's just too smooth. It's amazing. It'll take me a little bit to get the clutch all the way dialed in. Super perfect, but damn. It's worth the 110 or whatever people are normally paying for them, I'll tell you that right now.